Okay, hello everyone. Thanks for clicking on my video to check it out. Um, I'm going to try to point you in the right direction for being able to use VBA to copy an existing sheet, automatically name that sheet what you want it to be named, and then also list all of your sheet names in a list on a sheet. Okay? Um, and uh, I'm not going to specifically show you <laughs> how to do it because uh, it's been a long process for me to figure it out but I'm going to point you in the right direction uh, to show you where I found all this information um, and one gentleman that has helped me out immensely um, is uh, uh, AJ Kumar uh, forgive me AJ if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly but he's my brother man and he's been helping me to figure out and use VBA to create this list of sheet names and then omit certain sheet names which is the problem I'm having right now um, so this video is informational for anybody who wants to try to figure this out as I did uh, but the video is also specifically for AJ where I'm um, uh, posing the problem to him whereas he might be able to help me get it fixed Okay, so I want to draw everybody's attention uh, to AJ's website first because this is where I found um, all the knowledge I needed to be able to do what I'm trying to do. Uh, AJ's website is xlvbalover.com and uh, fantastic website the way that he's organized it. He's out there to help people and make them awesome at Microsoft Excel and VBA and if you look here at this tab uh, tutorials he has Excel training tutorial and VBA training tutorial uh, the Excel training he outlines all of his training courses if you click on that um, he outlines the way that he presents it and everything that uh, topics of discussion um, and then he also has a link for Excel training to his video tutorials. Same way with VBA training, training courses, and then video tutorials. So if you look at Excel training and go to video tutorial, um, he has this uh, organized quite nicely, um, categorized and, and alphabetized. So if you browse through this, you might find something that you're looking for. Uh, but if you want to just come up here in his search box, and type something in. Maybe you're trying to figure out uh, dynamic drop-down, for instance, and hit search. Um, it returns, wow, look at this. It's got two results here. Um, obviously, he's got method one and method two, so let's go ahead and click on this method one. And it takes you right to a video that he's created on YouTube, video 137, etc. Click on that it'll open up the YouTube video fantastic so uh, excellent job AJ thank you for helping all the people that you help and um, you know Excel VBA lover is a fantastic way to find what you're looking for so alright now to my problem what I want to do is I want to list all my sheet names and here's the bit of code that I have compiled by watching many YouTube videos on how to do that and honestly I can say I do not understand what all of this means specifically I have basic idea of what's going on here but for me to be able to explain to somebody that you know what this does this for thing and I don't understand how it comes all together I've managed to piece this together with different videos that I saw so what this bit of code does uh, this macro it will uh, create a sheet name it'll, well it'll copy a sheet excuse me it will copy a sheet and name it and it will also list all of the sheet names in a list uh, so if you type a, a name a word right here anything uh, conveyor number one for instance and I hit this button it activates that macro and what it will do specifically it will copy this sheet right here this sheet called spec sheet it will copy this sheet it will put that copy here to the front and it will name that sheet this name that I've typed in here and then it will also add this name to this list so I'm gonna hit create 
Ah, compile error. Okay, that's because I was getting ready to show. Okay, so let me try this again. Forgive me for that. Create. Okay, there it is right there, down here at the bottom. Conveyor number one, it created the sheet. Um, and then if I go back to this tab where it says conveyors, it's added that name to the list. Okay, and if I, if I put another name in, uh, conveyor number two, and I press the create button, okay, created the sheet right here, right? Copied the spec sheet and named it conveyor number one. Go back to here and we've got conveyor number two, conveyor number one, conveyor number two. What I don't want is, I don't want these names, okay? The rest of the sheets in the workbook, okay? Uh, quote worksheet, miscellaneous, uh, material list, all of these. I don't want these to show up. All I want are the tabs, the, the sheets that are created, uh, through this process here. Okay, now if you'll notice, you're like, well, wait a minute. Uh, this this sheet right here, quote worksheet, uh, that's not in the list. You know, what gives? Well, AJ helped me out with some code uh, to omit certain sheet names, but I haven't figured out how to omit more than one sheet name, just the one. So you can see this one here is called quote worksheet, and this part of it right here, this if, uh, worksheet.name equals quote worksheet, then it doesn't add it to the list. Um, so how do I get the rest of these out of here? Well, I'm thinking I can just I can just copy this right here. Okay, I copied that, um, and I'm going to paste it again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to type in this next sheet name exactly the way that it is case sensitive spacing and everything is perfect and okay I got that there like that and I'll save it and then I'll run the code okay and this is what I get uh, compile error uh, next without four okay so obviously this four thing I need like another one in here it does something I don't un I don't understand I don't understand. So, AJ, buddy, if you can help me to figure out how to uh, not include the rest of these names uh, in this list, I would really appreciate that. It would help me to move on with my uh, estimating work workbook project that I'm working on here. Uh, so that's all for now. I thank you very, very much.